OnePlus 7T is probably considered one of the fastest Android flagships out there. But at the same time, people like to point out that iPhones have a generational lead of one or two years over Android phones. Well, is that true? Well, let's test the iPhone 8 with the Apple A11 Bionic against the OnePlus 7T with the Snapdragon 855 Plus. We have the iPhone 8 with the A11 Bionic on the left hand side with a screen resolution of 750 by 1334. So barely greater than the 720p there. On the right hand side we have the OnePlus 7T with the Snapdragon 855 Plus. For this test it's running in full HD Plus. That's 1080 by 2400. That will make a difference when we get to some of the graphic intense parts of this test. Already we can see though a little lead there by the iPhone 8. Uh, it's completed the JSON test and it's into the compression test. Now the OnePlus 7T is into that same compression test, but still a minor lead there by the iPhone 8. Will the OnePlus 7T be able to claw back at all any of the uh, lead it has lost to the iPhone 8 as we get into the 16 thread test? This, of course, is a hexacore processor versus an octacore processor. Though, is it going to be exciting? Will the OnePlus 7T be able to get to the end of this test first? It's going to be very, very close. I don't know whether it will be. Which is going to be the first one to get to the test? There we go. Oh, neck and neck. Absolutely neck and neck as they went into that blur test. So it's neck and neck at this point. The OnePlus 7T has been able to catch up to the iPhone 8, but will it be able to overtake it as I saw it went first there into the infinite scroll list? This is a really good showing now by the OnePlus 7T. It seems to have found some extra energy at the end of this test, but we're now into the smoke test. What's the frame rate going to be in that higher screen resolution? 21 frames a second versus 24 frames a second. Surely that's going to hurt the iPhone 8. But again, the uh, OnePlus 7T has seemed to have gone into that U test first. They are both now doing this flyover. Who's going to get to the end of that valley first? Who's got the greater frame rate? It looks like the iPhone 8 is going to do it. Look, it's coming to the end of the valley now. What's the time going to be? 1 minute 30.1. And now the OnePlus 7T is doing the same thing. What's its time? There we go. 1 minute 34.5. Okay, let's break down those times and see what happened. So it was a very close race there, right to the end, but the clear winner was the iPhone 8 with 1 minute 30.1. Just a few seconds later, the OnePlus 7Ts came in 134.5. So what happened in the CPU time? As you can see, a slight lead there by the OnePlus 7T. 49 seconds for the iPhone 8, 48.1 seconds for the OnePlus 7T. So a win there by the OnePlus 7T. But when we get to the mixed CPU GPU time, we see the same situation again, but only by a fraction of a second. 26 seconds for the iPhone 8, 25.7 seconds for the OnePlus 7T. So a bit of a win there by the OnePlus 7T, but the difference comes comes in now when we get to the GPU times 15.1 versus 20.5 of course there is a difference in the screen resolution but should it be five seconds difference that is really the key question but overall because of that GPU time there at the end we see the iPhone 8 one with 1 minute 30.1 compared to OnePlus 70's 1 minute 34.5 my name is Gary Sims. This is Speed Test G. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please do consider giving it a thumbs up. Also, do consider subscribing to the channel. Don't forget, we have a Twitter account, Speed Test Underbar G. And that's it. I'll see you in the next one.